Hi guys, thank you for coming shopping with me again today at Mardell's. Um, today I just kind of want to flip through and browse some curriculum and figure out what we're going to do next year and see what's out there and get some fresh ideas and hopefully learn some new things. So these are grammar minutes. They are very good. Um, I like how they are just so simple really just kind of an easy way to incorporate grammar into your homeschool day. Um, I'm not sure that this is what I'll be choosing for us, although I kind of want to. I want to add all of the things to our homeschooling, but there has to be a time where I kind of cut it off. Um, I think we have something else we're going to use, but this is definitely just one of those really simple ways to add a little bit of grammar into your day without, you know, completely eating away your child's day. Here's some writing curriculum. Here's a different one. I have never actually looked at this one before. Um, some good things. Stories. Writing a narrative. My opinion. My reasons for my opinion. I like the breakdown of it. I mean, it's good, right? Ten ninety nine. Can't beat that. Um, very good. I don't know if that's the one we'll be using. There's so many choices out there. There really is. And really, there's no no wrong one. You just have to choose what's best for you and your child. Um, and they all support different learning techniques with different children as well. Because all children learn in different ways, right? This is cool. Um, make your child practice their numbers in a fun way. I love everything to do with literature studies. <laughs> I'm so excited to read all the books with my children. I want to do all of them. This is an in-depth guide to any picture book. Interesting. The look of a place, who's the most? Cool. So here's more of those literature studies. Hatchet. Awesome. The Giver. So many choices um, you really just have to I always change too. I think I found like the thing that we absolutely love and then I'm like ooh, I found a better thing and then I completely throw my children off by changing their curriculum but there is just so much good stuff and you can't do it all here's some another just a quick math we did these this past year they were awesome Oh, I love history pockets. See, this is the way I learn, though. I love the artsy stuff and the crafty stuff, and we do a lot of those, and they're they're super fun. At least I think so. <laughs> Studying the U.S. facts. We're going to be doing a bit of that this next year, so this would be good for us. I like this one. This might be something to put on my list. In an upcoming um, episode two, I will show you what I decide to do. I love this. Um, we're not doing it, although I am so tempted. Rod and staff, they are just so simple and beautiful and um, old school, really. Like old school learning, but in just this beautiful way that makes you want to like wrap up in a quilt next to the fire and learn something. They're just, they're precious, really. And they're pretty aren't they they're just really pretty and you can pass them down and what I love most about rod and staff is they're incredibly affordable like this is a way to teach a lot of children on a dime just so simple um, kind of that traditional way of learning this is the textbook where you would get out the paper and write the problem and solve it and um, you know old school traditional and there's nothing wrong with that at all um, I don't think this will be the path we end up taking, but I have went back and forth on it because I would love to see these books sitting on my shelf. <laughs> I just think they're lovely. What a pretty way to learn. Here's one of the younger workbooks. This isn't a reusable one because um, it's for the younger grades, but this is this is cute. And look how affordable. You can't buy stuff for that for homeschool. $4.50 for this workbook. That makes me love it. <laughs> so pretty. 
Okay, so we just looked at a super traditional way to learn. This is the non-traditional way to learn. <laughs> Life of Fred. It's so interesting. It is learning by reading about the life of Fred. He is this young boy who does real life application of math and at the end of each chapter, it gives you three to 10 questions saying, now it's your turn to play. And so you get to play along with Fred and learn. It's charming. If this is how your child learns best, perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is one of the more advanced books. Um, so you just get to read about little Fred in a chapter story. Never again will your child get to ask you, how am I going to use this in real life? Because Fred, Fred's over here using it in real life. <laughs> More of that rod and staff for English. Again, beautiful. Let's peek at some of it. So the same charming, traditional, rod of staff way of learning. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Absolutely beautiful and completely affordable. Handwriting without tears. I hear lots of moms love that. A reason for handwriting. Love this. We have actually used this since the beginning. Since kindergarten, we have used this and I love it. It's just simple, it teaches them to write well, it uses scripture and pictures that they get to color, a lot of repetition. Um, I really like this and it has worked well for my children. Spelling, more literature studies, love that. Screw tape letters. Who here has read the screw tape letters? I have not, but I'm excited to read them with my children. Leave a comment if you have. King Arthur. Story of the world. And I've heard some negative things about it, but we love it. All the little things to learn about. Interesting. So many fun ways to learn about Bible stories. I love, I love all the little activities. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I'm loving this. Timeline stuff. Look at this. I love the timelines. I'm such a visual learner myself. Um, I like to think my children are similar to me. So, <laughs> but none of this. Oh, more timelines. I like that. It just makes it learning simple. Instant Bible lessons for preteens. This is probably something I should have. It's my preteen needs her own thing, right? <laughs> this is nice. I don't know that we'll do this or not, but it probably would be a good thing to do. Gospel illusions. This seems to be kind of like science projects that kind of lead you back to Christ, which is cool, fun, very fun. 13 very amazing animals in the Bible and 13 very surprising sayings in the Bible 13 very big mistakes and 13 very awesome promises these are fun always looking for a good book to learn something God's promise to see and love us Savior yeah this is nice Peep the cat. Some Disney fun. 
always making learning a little bit more fun is a good thing. This looks cool. Organization, all about that. Pencils, all the fun pencils with all the fun sayings. <laughs> this one has scripture. And this one has the books of the Bible. Good little way to kind of learn. All the stickers. Place mats. Love that. Um, again, just another fun way to learn just so they can kind of glean some information even as they eat lunch. They have everything here from the armor of God to math, which is awesome. I like these kind of things. I want all of them. <laughs> Fun science projects. Oh my goodness, we have an entire shelf of science kits that we still haven't tackled. I, I love them. My children love them. I want all of them. <laughs> it's just such a fun way to learn. The Tuttle Twins. If you haven't read the Tuttle Twins, you should. master books this is master book um, for math um, they're very charlotte mason inspired um, what that is is charlotte mason involves a lot of reading in her curriculum um so basically if you like to read as a family or you have a child that really likes to read this is probably the math curriculum for you it's also very vibrant and colorful which I like here is the English book for master's books um, same thing lots of stories lots of color very vibrant um, it's lovely it is basically everything you would need it's also very expensive complete opposite of rod and staff <laughs> but very good as well. America's Story, I also really like these. These are just a wonderful way to learn history as a family, um, to read through them. Very good. Passport to the World, Passport to America. I haven't really looked at this before. Okay, so they break down each state and just it looks like tells you some random facts about it and such, which is nice. Um, another good book to add to your library. Atlas, Atlas of the USA. This is good. I actually like this book better than the other one. Um, a little bit more in it. All the books. My children love all of the books. <laughs> I like these early readers. It helps some of my younger ones feel more confident with their reading. Um, can never have too many of these to give them something fresh to try to read. The sale rack. Ooh, this is the dollar side. Is there anything good for a dollar? This is this is a dollar. This looks good. I'm gonna get that. My children love these. The God I need to talk to you about such and such <laughs> books. They're a dollar fifty. So affordable. My children love these. I always add a couple into our homeschool haul. So 
some good girl chapter books. It is hard these days to find good chapter books that you feel confident about your children reading. And um, these are good ones. I bet my daughter would love them. Yeah, this looks like something she would like. These are cute. Big Bake Off. Dolphin Wish. Sounds fun. Courageous World Changers. She prayed, that looks really good. I think we have this, looks familiar. Bearstein Bears, love them. Oh, this one's 4th of July, need that. Very cute. Guys, I can't tell you enough about these books. I get excited when these books come out. They are the best books. I, in fact, I'll even say one of the best children's books I've ever read. They are so good. They are captivating. They hold such... Oh my goodness, they're just profound. <laughs> we have this one. This is, it's just so good. Get this book. All the different Bibles. I need to buy my children some new Bibles because they've aged out as some of their little ones. And um, we definitely need some new Bibles. There's a taller Bible. That's cute. I think I have a lot of this kind of thing, but I want, I want them all. <laughs> I just, I love them all. They all seem to be just a little bit different, hold a little bit, I don't know, way to learn different ways. Cute bookmark. The Preschooler's Bible, how sweet is that? I should buy Miss Preschooler this. We have this, this is good. Devotionals. These are cute. That might be good for two of my kiddos. Very nice. We have this one as well. This is a good one. Just, um, another devotional type of book very good beautiful cover we have this one as well this is excellent this is a very good one um we've done a lot of different devotionals at this point it's a good one my daughter would love this she has something similar to that the action bible my son desperately wants this <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It makes it like a comic book, and there's just nothing wrong with that. I might need to get this. Not a bad price either. Oh, what's this? This looks like a new one. I've never seen this before. Big Truths. Oh, I like this. This might be something new for us. You may see this in my homeschool hall <laughs> at some point. I like this one. Something different. I 
like this one as much. I can't really tell you why. I think I don't like the pictures. I don't know. Oh, here's a good action Bible. Huh. Oh, they have black. I wonder what the difference between this one and the other one is. Maybe less pictures and more words or... I don't know. I think I might like this one better. It looks more like a Bible. This is pretty. My seven-year-old would probably love this. It is sparkly princess Bible. Yeah, she needs that one. And my Miss Eleven, my wannabe artist, would love this one. Bible you doodle in. This is cute too. Very good. She might need both of these. Mermaid Bible. So many choices. Okay. I've looked at this for a long time in different places. <laughs> I think my children would really enjoy it. They're always setting up a supermarket somewhere and playing grocery store. And here's the actual grocery store. I wonder if it is worth the money or just would fall apart. I don't know. These are all very interesting. My son loves all of these stem type of toys. We have these, they're awesome. Pillows are 50% off. It's so affordable. This, this pillow is like $10. That's really cute for that price. The red and blue, very patriotic. Um, there are some cute pillows here for a very good price. What's this one? be like 17 um, that's not as good as some of the others these are half off and it would appear that most of them are ten dollars then which is a normal good price so yeah the dog and cat stuff my eldest loves her little kitten, so she loves anything to do with cats, so I always look at it for her. <laughs> she loves all this stuff. You've got to be kitten me. Mightier than the sea is his love for you. This would be good for my son's summer themed room. All of the stuff for children's rooms. It's very similar to Hobby Lobby in this section, um, but maybe with some different sales and such. I like this, that kind of pale green. It goes with my dark green rug from at home that I need for my playroom. <laughs> More signs.
Hey, this. This is my favorite thing I've seen today. <laughs> How cute is that? My playroom slash homeschool room needs this. 